Well, Seema, when Jeff Shell becomes CEO of NBC Universal, CNBC's parent company, on January 1st, he'll be focused on continuing the strong financial performance under the leadership of Steve Burke while also navigating the digital disruption of the film and TV industries. Shell's top priorities include the launch of ad supported Peacock, that's the streaming service launching in April, followed by the Tokyo Olympics this summer. At the studio, he'll look to maintain the growth of its franchises while the theme park division works to open new resorts in Beijing and Orlando. Shell, a 15-year veteran of Comcast, most recently chairman of Universal Filmed Entertainment, takes the reins from Burke, who's been CEO since 2011, when Comcast's acquisition of a majority stake of NBC Universal closed. Now, this has been a tenure of dramatic growth for Burke. Between 2011 and last year, NBC Universal nearly doubled its earnings, the fastest growth rate of any major media company. Burke's achievements include securing the broadcast rights to the Olympics through 2032, with the Rio Olympics the most widely seen event ever. He engineered the acquisition of DreamWorks Animation. He led the expansion of the theme parks, including buying out private equity partners in the Orlando parks. He invested in Telemundo, which under his leadership eclipsed longtime leader Univision in prime time. And as the executive vice president of Comcast as well, he was a key architect of the Sky acquisition. Now Burke will assist in the transition as chairman through mid-August. After his retirement, he will continue to serve on the boards of J.P. Morgan and Berkshire Hathaway, and he'll be spending more time at his place in Montana. Guys, back over to you. Sounds like a nice, uh, a nice future for him. Julia, stick around for more on this leadership change at NBC Universal and the challenges ahead for incoming CEO Jeff Schell. Let's bring in our friend Andrew Ross Sorkin. Andrew, welcome. Um, Facetiously, I would say that the, the legacy of uh, Mr. Burke is that no longer do we have to have GE appliances in the break rooms. That's the main thing that I see here. But I would say if I had to pick, and yeah. Julia did a marvelous job summarizing all of the things yep. uh, that uh, Mr. Burke has done, one of them that stands out to me is the vitality of the theme parks that he has right. he has brought well, and he has made them a real serious serious I rival wanna, but I want to put Disney. I want to put one other on the list that's not on the list and he doesn't get enough credit for buying NBC in the first place true so if you really understand the confidence that Brian Roberts had in making this what was a momentous decision then because you have to remember where NBC Universal sat within General Electric. Fourth in the network that, race at that time, and a rounding error to GE. I would argue that Steve Burke gave Brian confidence and courage to make the deal at all. Mm -hmm. After that, 100%, the theme parks have outperformed anything, wildly outperformed anything anybody thought was even possible. But I do think that Comcast as a company would be a different company without NBC Universal and would be a different company had Steve Burke not been there to make that happen in the first place. What and do I know think, Andrew, about... Key oh, thing go ahead, is, Julia. Oh, I think a key thing is not only did he give Brian Roberts confidence to make this major acquisition, but also what he did with the acquisition once they had a hold of it. I mean, this the assets at NBC Universal, one might argue, have been really transformed. And one thing he did was this idea of he created this cross cross-company collaboration system called Symphony. The idea is that these different divisions should not be operating totally separately they should be collaborating they should be figuring out ways the tv division the you know the channels the movie studio the theme parks can all work together and really maximize all of those different brands and assets across platforms and i would say that nbc universal really did not have anything close to that right. approach until he came in and created that idea of and something. he was as an operator as much as he was a deal maker you know julia mentioned the olympics that was done almost in the cover of night surprised everybody and really pushed out and, and, and created a consistent system and theme for these networks, as we said, through 2032. I remember when I woke up that morning and thought, wow, they've got it for that long? Uh, th I, I had forgotten that it goes out to 2032. Yes. I mean, that's really amazing. And then again, I think in terms of the behind the scenes role that he played in the Sky acquisition, I mean, I, I think that the imprint that you will see of Steve Burke is here uh, and will be here long after uh, he uh, hangs out in Montana. Yeah, he um, certainly led the company through a number of transformative uh, moments and events. What do we need to know about Jeff Shell, his management style, and some of the challenges he may inherit? Everybody keeps saying challenges, challenges. Yes, there are a lot of challenges, and Julie can speak to this probably more than anybody else. The big challenge is streaming. 
and what streaming means and getting Peacock off the ground and what that's going to look like, what that does at the same time, by the way, that talk about challenges, the linear TV business by default will be challenged. And what does that look like? Having said that, and Julia again can speak to this better because she's out in Hollywood, when Jeff felt shell first got out to Hollywood, I remember reading these stories, and I know Jeff, he's a friend, uh, but when he first got there, everybody was writing him off. He actually got into that chair and made it work and made it work better than anybody anticipated. You look at the franchises and the franchise films that, by the way, didn't exist before he was there, mm -hmm. uh, many of which are now going to be ongoing franchises. And, and by the way, you'll start to see in the theme parks. As, so, as, yeah, as and, and all connections. Exactly. So, Julia, let, let, I'll have you sum it up here. And uh, Andrew pointed out that really the, the challenge is streaming. And it's not just streaming as a rival uh, to what you can get on television, the broadcast networks or the cable networks like, uh, like CNBC, but it's, it is streaming as a rival to filmed entertainment and the in-theater experience. Yes, I mean, I think, uh, you know, it's worth noting with Jeff Shell's appointment that this is, uh, this is an executive who has touched nearly every single part of the company. He has international experience. He also was appointed to run the studio with no movie experience. And as Andrew mentioned, was written off, and then he went on to have the most profitable years ever. So he's between the international and the domestic experience here in Hollywood. His office is, is just about a block away from where I'm standing right now on the studio lot. You know, this is someone who is seen as having all the experience necessary to take the reins and really to add a fresh perspective um, as they navigate these digital challenges. And I think when you, you know, when you talk about the streaming challenge, it's not going to just be about um, what content is on Peacock. It's about how Peacock is managed in conjunction with the, uh, with the cable companies. And they've talked a lot about wanting to make sure Peacock is bundled with cable uh, and sort of mm -hmm. trying to figure out how to reach those cord cutters or reach cord nevers. And then there's also the question of what happens with the movie business. Universal has been speculated to be one of the studios that would like to shorten the window between theatrical and home entertainment release. Peacock could be a piece of that. So I think there are going to be a lot of pieces in play um, in terms of trying to figure out how to make sure that the content assets that are created here on the Universal Studio lot where I am now are best exploited um, either with the ad-supported Peacock um, or with uh, trying to get movies to people's homes faster.